Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Big Ants Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 22 Diamond Eyes videos. Today, we have our first roster update predictions slash investing tips. If we go to the calendar, the first roster update is going to be on... Where is it? I'm blind. It's right there. On April 29th. And yeah, first roster update with attribute upgrades and downgrades. So yeah, uh, those of you who are new... The roster updates actually affect the cards overalls in Diamond Dynasty. So, for example, Stephen Kwan, his card is going to go up. Uh, that's just, that just it's just what makes MLB the show so unique and so great for no money spent people. Is you can make smart investments and you'll be able to cash out. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys my investments. I spent near like a little over 200k last night researching and doing investments and I already bought a bunch of the cards and I'm just going to give you guys my advice. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with my Yankees. As a Yankees fan, this is the team that I watch the most. So I'm going to give you guys four pitchers who I think are going to go up. Two of them, I haven't gotten any invest or I haven't bought any of them yet just because their price is so steep for what they are. I don't think it's worth it yet, but I I'm just keeping keeping them on the radar when their price does drop. But the first card I'm going to talk about is Luis Severino. Luis Severino, he was injured in 2020 and most of 2021, right? But Severino, you know, he came back at the end of 21 as a reliever and he's back to being a starter and he has been gross so far. So far this year for the Yankees, he has a 2.08 ERA. He has 14 strikeouts. I think he has a really good chance of going gold this update, maybe next update. He's currently around 600 stubs. One other thing that I forgot to mention earlier is you really have to keep in your mind the new quick sell values. I want to see what price did I buy? Okay, I'm kind of spoiling. Uh, Severino, I bought him. Okay, so I actually bought him earlier. So I got him for like 300 a pop and he's gone up in price. So I could honestly sell them right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I think he has a chance to go gold. But Luis Severino has been so disgusting. He's been very, very good. 2.08 ERA, 14 Ks. He's looking like the 2018, 2017 Luis Severino that the Yankees have desperately missed. So he's he's a guy to look out for. The next guy I have on the list is Michael King. And now Michael King is currently supercharged. I don't think it's worth buying him right now. He's a 72 overall, and he's like 300, 200 for a for a buy order. And the quick sell for 75 is 50 stubs. So once his price drops, after he goes to silver, I think he's going to be cheaper. I would then invest in him because he's been disgusting. I, yeah, he's 0 0.08 or 0 0.84 ERA with 18 strikeouts so far this season. He's been gross. The next Yankee that we're going to talk about is Johnny Lasagna, Jonathan Luizaga. Now I'm just going to say this right now. He did have one bad outing against Baltimore. His ERA is very inflated. I, I, he's not going to go down to a bronze. This is a very long-term investment that I recommend you guys. Johnny Lasagna is so gross. That's what Yankees, most Yankees fans call him. Jonathan Luizago, Johnny Lasagna. If you buy him now for like 100 and long-term he goes gold, you'll be making a ton of profit. I bought 50 of them because I think he's going to go gold. Like I said, he had one bad outing. His ERA is inflated. But this is a long-term investment if you want to do it. And then obviously, where, where where's the GOAT? Where is he? Nestor Cortez, he's way too expensive for you to invest in him right now. But I'm just saying later on, if there's a chance he could go gold and his price drops, definitely be on the lookout for him. The next player I'm going to talk about is Wander Franco. Now, he is already 3,000 subs, and that is the quick sell value for an 85. And he's only an 80 overall. Now, with Wander Franco, this is another long-term investment. But Wander Franco is a star. Like, he is so good. He's one of those guys who's just right when he makes the major leagues, he just has an instant impact. And I think later on in the year, he could honestly go up to like 88 or 89. And those quick set values are 5,500 for 88 and 7,000 for 89. So if you're buying him at 3K a pop right now, and near the end of the year, he reaches 88, 89, maybe even 90 overall, you'll be making 4,000 stubs per Wander Franco card you buy. So that's another long-term one. This year, just in general, 
investing is going to be much more long term because of the new quick sell values. It makes it hard to get quick, fast investments to give you stubs. It's going to be more of a long game this year. But Wanda Franco is definitely one I highly recommend. And I'm going to buy a lot more of them when I get more stubs because I still want to have some stubs left over. I don't want to spend all my stubs. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Kevin Gosman. And Kevin Gosman was a diamond last year. He signed a big contract with the Blue Jays, and he's been great so far this year. But I'm looking at that price tag, and I think this is a steal. This could be a short-term investment right here. He is 1600 on the sell now. So far this season, Gosman is a 2.89 ERA. I think that I don't. I don't think he's going to go diamond on Friday. I, I just don't think it's going to happen. But I think if you buy a bunch of Gosmans right now and he keeps pitching the way he has the past two years, he will easily become a diamond. He might even go up to an 87, 88 like he did last year. I think this is a very, very, very good investment for you guys based on that price. I think this is just a steal. I don't even know why he's only 1600. Another Blue Jay I'm going to talk about is Jordan Romano, 78 overall closing pitcher. He is leading the league. Oops, he is leading the league in saves. He has eight so far. And if we talk about his ERA, it's 1.13. Now, I will say I bought these guys much cheaper than what they are right now. They've honestly all gone up in price. Like if we go to Jordan Romano, where is, okay, Jordan Romano, like I bought him at 400 a pop and he's currently up to like 500. So, I mean, I could sell these guys now, but I'm just going to wait and just see what happens because we haven't had a roster update yet. And I want to know what actually happens when these guys get boosted. But yeah, that, that's a silver to gold that I think is honestly a lock. I think that he's 100% going to go gold. Next, we are going to go to the Texas Rangers. And we are going to talk about Nathaniel Lau. Now, I'm just going to say Nate Lau because that's what he's normally called. But I'm just going to say Nate. Nate Lau is hitting 412, which is second in the league in batting average. He is he, he's tied for second in hits. And yeah, like that contact versus both sides is going to go way up. He's pretty expensive for a bronze, but right now I think that it's a good investment to make because he could go up to gold later on in the year. And I think that his price is only going to go up based on how he's playing. Now we're going to go to the Mariners and talk about Logan Gilbert. Logan Gilbert, he was a rookie last year. He was a top prospect before that. He has been unbelievable this year. He's second in the league in ERA, only behind Pablo Lopez with a 0.54 ERA. And... He's very, very young. Like I said, he was a rookie last year. He can only really get better this season if you really think about it. Now, he does have a 0.54 ERA, but Logan Gilbert, he's only going to get better. Like he's very young. He's been very good this season. I think that this is honestly diamond watch for September if he pitches really well the rest of the year. Maybe like 83, 84 watch too, because those quick sells are 1,200 and 1,500. The next player that I'm going to talk about is on the San Francisco Giants. The San Francisco Giants just have a knack for developing good pitching. Carlos Rodon, 83 overall. He is picking up right where he left off from last season. Last season was a career year. He got paid and he's pitching phenomenally so far for the Giants. Carlos Rodon is first in the league with 29 strikeouts. So I think that that alone is going to take him to diamond in this update. And he's around 2,800. So the quick sell for an 85 is 3,000. So you're not going to be making insane profit, but you're going to want to hold on to him because he's definitely going to go up if he keeps pitching well. He's going to go up to like 87, 88. That's where he was last year. And if you look at those quick sell values, 4,500 for an 87, 5,500 for an 88, then you're basically making double profit if he goes up to an 88 and you're buying him right now. Logan Webb, this is another long-term guy because he's only an 80 overall. He's around 1,000 stubs. If he goes up to an 83, you'll make profit. And he's definitely gonna go up. I think he's definitely diamond watch. I th he, he's been amazing too, 2.55 ERA. And he was gross last year near the end of the season. And he's picking up right where he left off. I think Logan Webb is gonna be a diamond. I think that this is just a long-term smart investment, him being only 1,000 stubs. I think you guys should definitely do it right now. Now, I'm gonna talk about a few more guys. Let's go to the Diamondbacks, Merrill Kelly. Now, Merrick Kelly, he's only 90 stubs. And if you look at the silver quick sells, 77 overall is a 100 stub quick sell value. I think I need to buy some of him 
I, I, I mean, I definitely do. I thought he was more expensive. I think he was more expensive last night. I'm definitely going to buy some right now. Or not during the video, but like after that I make this video. Merrick Kelly, I think he's third in ERA. It's like 0.6 something. He's been gross. He's definitely a sneaky investment. He plays for the Diamondbacks. Nobody really cares about the Diamondbacks unless you're a Diamondbacks fan. But yeah, I think that's a really, really smart investment to make. He can honestly go gold in a little bit. I would buy now while he's really cheap. Not buy now, but like put buy orders in. Don't ever buy now on anyone. And then we're going to go back to the Marlins and talk about Pablo Lopez, who I was talking about earlier. He leads the league in ERA. It's like 0.5, or I think it's like 0.48. But he's honestly a little expensive right now. Now, I, I, I think that it's a smart investment to make later because if he goes gold and he continues to pitch the way he has, then he could eventually go up to 84, 83. I just don't, I'm just not 100% confident that that's going to happen. But yeah, be on the lookout for Pablo Lopez though. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Big Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.